Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing civil engineering internships in particular. I am currently a civil engineering intern at a small consulting firm in beautiful Irvine, California, and I was referred to this position by my old mentor, and I am very grateful for that. Now, on that note, if you are looking for an internship or struggling to find one, try applying at a smaller firm. Don't go for the big firms right away because you don't really have a built resume yet. Everyone has the same general things that they put on their resume and you're applying against everyone in the country if it is a big firm. If you apply at a smaller firm, you're gonna be more likely to get it because smaller firms really need a lot of people because you do a wide variety of things. You don't necessarily just do one thing. You do a little bit of everything and you end up gaining that knowledge and you can put that on your resume, which is what bigger firms like to see so you don't have to be trained on particular things. They already know that you have that experience and that real world professional experience in it so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below and i hope you enjoy the video thank you so we're walking to the car now we're going on a delivery we're going to huntington beach we have a lot of deliveries today we have to pick up four plans to drop off too so it's gonna be a little bit of a mission Have arrived we are at Huntington City Hall we have a lot of plan pickups here those cities under a lot of development a lot of residential and commercial development so here we are coming up to pick up a few plans and drop off a couple off so hopefully it goes smoothly all right just got done doing a delivery had a couple pickups so now we have them in the back those are gonna be sent back to the office all I do is I come here ask any questions drop off what needs to be dropped off and pick up any plans that they have for our office to be in review of them now it took me about 30 to 40 minutes to get down here which seems like a lot but that is with no traffic so that is actually a pretty good time to get down here now sometimes it'll take me over an hour just because of traffic and they do not care they will send me at any time just to come get these plans because the main priority is to get these in and out as quick as possible i do get compensated my hourly wage as well as a mileage check for every mile that i do drive for my company so let's head back we are heading back to the office now and the exit we are taking right now, Irvine Center Drive, is the same one to go to the Irvine Spectrum. So our office is right across the street from the Irvine Spectrum and it is a very beautiful place to go after work. Just got back from the delivery, made it back to the office in one piece. Time to go see what else there is to do in there. Now, the office may seem like a mess and a cluster of papers, but I promise you it is organized. We understand where every plan is based on a job number that we do assign to every single plan, so it is organized. Now, as you can see, my binder proposal is coming along smoothly, so let's wrap that up. All right, so there wasn't much back to do at the office, so they let me go home a little bit early. It is currently 3.35 in the afternoon, and it is pretty cool that they let me go that extra hour and a half early because that extra hour does add up with traffic as well as maybe going to a study group or office hours a little bit later. Now, I didn't really do much today. All I did was a binder proposal and that's been taking me a few weeks and all it is is just to show future clients the amount of work that we do and how extensive and detailed it is. Now, like I said, every single day at an engineering firm, especially a smaller one, is different. I don't have a day-to-day -day task other than potentially plan check pickups and deliveries, but other than that, Everything is up in the air. It does vary and it does range. I could do plan checks for five, six, seven hours straight, or I could do miscellaneous tasks around the office for five, six, seven hours straight. It really just depends on the day. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.